My name is Brighton Severa. I stay in Qatar and work in Qatar, but I'm originally from Zimbabwe. The problem that brought me here is the back pain, and this is my medical report to confirm my condition from Raha Hospital in Alco, Qatar. We are now looking at this medical report from Raha Medical Center. That's in Qatar. It's a medical report for Brother Brighton Wetzerai Severa. This is where he was referred by Dr. Jose Devasia to have him examined to take x-rays of his lumbar spine because he was complaining of the pain. So upon examining him, they noted that he has got sacralization of L5 vertebrae together with the straightening of the normal lumbar lodotic curvature. They noted a radio opacity measuring 9 by 5 millimeters. That's a blood clot. It was noted in the right hemipelvis. So this is causing him pain, and this is being confirmed by Dr. Pamela, the diagnostic radiologist. It's a whole year now, Brother Severa has got difficulty in rising up as you're watching. The pain he has in the back is so, so sharp. He has come to the healer, Jesus Christ, to restore him back his good health. Remember, Kakanda is not the healer. The healer's name sent from heaven is Christ Jesus. In his name, there lies all the ability. I'm not the healer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, the man of God is stretching out his hand in the power of Jesus. Jesus for the healing of Brother Severa, who has come with so much pain in the back. Pain that has spent a whole year. See how he's being driven in the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Be here. Oh, Father in heaven, hello, Ebi, your name. Rise up and go, you're free. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mr. Severa is now rising up. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus has done it for him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Now there's no more pain. I'm feeling no pain. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. The healer Jesus Christ completely healed the pain of Brother Severa Brighton from Qatar after the prayer he received from the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following morning, he gladly shares his testimony to God's glory. My names are Brighton Wetzirai Severa. I work in Qatar, but originally from Zimbabwe. It all started uh, towards the end of uh, 2022. After being sick uh, for some time, maybe it took me a week before I consulted anyone. I was just thinking maybe I overworked the day before, so the next day is going to, to be okay. I decided to go to the hospital where the doctors examined me at a hospital called Raha Hospital in a, Alco, Qatar. They found out that I had a sacralization of L5 vertebra. They give me some medication. The medication which I used just after a short period of time, the pain again came back. It retained, and this time it was more intensive. During this period of one year and some months, I always had pain. I could not do my job very well because it involves a lot of time while I am standing. And after that, when I try to sit down, it will be always be very difficult and very painful to sit down. And if, it's a, if I sit for a long time, it will also be very difficult to rise up. So I just uh, told myself, no, maybe this time I need to find other solution. By that time, I was already watching and following the Men of God on uh, Facebook, and I was already a subscriber on YouTube. That's how I began to arrange uh, to come here to Kakandi Ministries. So I came here on Friday, and I was uh, privileged to be registered and uh, to be put on the prayer line. So on Saturday, when the Men of God uh, prayed for me, I don't remember anything that happened after he taped my tummy. It was another world. Suddenly, I fell down. 
I didn't understand what was going on until I heard his voice uh, commanding me to rise up, for I was well. Indeed, when I rose up, I was a new person. I was no longer the same person who was sick. As you could see, I could do a lot of things that I could not do before. Like now, I can sit without any pain and very fast. I don't need support. I don't need to hold on somewhere. And I can stand without any difficulty, no pain. In every uh, activity that involved the lower part of my back, I was always having pain. But now, I am free. Now, I can walk, I can run. I can run very fast. I can squat, and I can stand. I give glory to Jesus for healing me. And I want to thank the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for me. I am totally free, totally healed. Thank you, Jesus. Now I would want to address my people from Zimbabwe, the Shona speaking people from Zimbabwe. Hey, wanawe Zimbabwe, kumusha uko, musata mbuzi hika ni guruwa ziwa, mshisha ya kutumono ponera kupi, kana sharamba, kweze kwa makaenda, kuyai kuno, kuyuganda, kukampala, kukakande ministries, mnoona muranda wa mari, prophet Samuel Kakande, wanukubasi rai, ndi mnubasi wa pachena, hamu padari chinu, chenyu kushika pano chete, amen. to Jesus Christ, a miracle worker. My name is Christian Emenike Chazu, originally from Nigeria, but I live in Dublin, Ireland. What brought me here is problem of back pain and hypertension. And this is my medical report to prove from Beaumont Hospital, Dublin. Right here, we're looking at this medical report from Beaumont Hospital in Dublin, that's in Ireland. It's a medical report that belongs to Mr. Christian Echezu. Here we are being informed several abnormalities about him because initially he went to this clinic and was attended to in the emergency department because he had cervical myelopathy. This is a problem with the nerves affecting the spinal cord. So when they took an MRI scan of him, they noted multi-level disc osteophytes and this was affecting C6 stroke C7. Therefore, he was supposed to undergo an operation because he had this canal stenosis and the myelomalacia, which is a pathological softening of the spinal cord. He was carried through urgent surgery. They did anterior cervical disectomy and fusion at C6 stroke 7. Later on, he was taken back to the same clinic for review. And through the x-rays, they noted that still, this problem is persisting for which he may warrant further decompression. That's more surgery upon him. All this is is being confirmed by Mr. David O'Brien, the consultant neurosurgeon there in Ireland. Now, Mr. Christian, where has the lumbar corset for support? He has got so much pain. Watch the agony on the face as he's rising up. He's having this pain that is so much in the back that is radiating down to the leg and to the foot for five years. Woo! Watch, brethren, this touch of God's power upon him. Jesus Christ. Be here! And he can speak up ah, in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Father, I thank you. We bless your holy name. Rise up and go, you are free. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Look at the gentleman rising up very fast. He has taken off the lock of the Hallelujah, hallelujah, yeah, hallelujah. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm Look at this here. miracle. I'm here. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ. Thank 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The pen has gone in the back. No pain. My name is Florence Janeta Chien Otieno. I come from Kenya. What brought me here is back pain. I've been in pain for four years, and this is my medical report from German Medical Center in Nairobi. This medical report from German Medical Center from the Imaging Department that's in Nairobi is a medical report for Lady Florence Janet Acheng Otieno. This is where she went for checkup for she has been having severe pain in her lower back and this preceded an accident that she suffered. So when the doctors examined her, they noted several abnormalities in her lumbar spine, whereby she was diagnosed with L4, L5, grade 1 vertebral stasis. There is slippage of the discs. They noted degenerative desiccation of all lumbar intervertebral discs. They further noted L4, L5 symmetric disc bulge with central protrusion impinging bilateral exiting and traversing nerve roots with severe neuroforaminal spinal canal stenosis. Further, she was diagnosed with again another symmetric disc bulge at L5S1 impinging bilateral exiting nerve roots and also this has contact with the neuroforamina. So this is being confirmed by Dr. L. Esther, the consultant radiologist. And now you can see that she wears a number corset for support. Walking is difficult, she cannot bend. This is how she has suffered for four years, and today she has come to meet the healer, Jesus Christ, who is now touching her in the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woman, rise up and go, you are free. Sister Florence has been declared free, and now she's rising up. Rising up from sickness to good health. In Jesus' mighty name. Can you move this number because she has been wearing? Because the deliverer, the healer, has set her free. Clap, clap, Thank those you, hands Jesus. for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She's walking. Thank you, Jesus. I can't feel the pain. I don't feel the pain. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. in the back of Sister Florence Ocheno from Kenya, which she suffered for four agonizing years, became a thing of the past the moment she received the touch of God's power through the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Listen to her testimony the following morning. My name is Florence Janet Acheno Tieno. I come from Kenya. I'm here to give glory and honor to God because he has healed me. When I came here, I had severe backache. I couldn't walk properly. I couldn't bend. I couldn't run. Because of the pain that I had as a result of uh, uh, multiple de degeneration of my spine, I went to different hospitals. I took different medications. I went for physio every three days in a week, which didn't help much. I suffered for six years from 2008 to date. My sister talked to me about Prophet Kakande. I started watching the videos and I, I saw people being delivered. I saw people being healed, and I decided to have faith and come here. So when I came here on Friday, I, I had severe pain in my back, and I was wearing this corset because if I don't tie it around my, my waist, I would feel so, so bad. So on Saturday, I was privileged to be put on the prayer line 
And when the prophet came, he touched my forehead and I fell down. The next instruction was to stand and walk. I stood up and I felt the pain had gone. I'm going to throw it away. I was not walking, I would walk like um, one side of my hip was broken. But now, I can walk. I can walk straight. I can even run. I can bend. I can hurry. Initially also, I would sit holding the chair like this and sit slowly. But now I can stand, I can sit, I can stand and I can sit. I thank God and Jesus Christ for healing me and I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. Thank you very much. To God be the glory. I come from Luo Nyanza, and to my Luo people, I would tell them, ni kikingato winjika tuo katagi moro chande tolinga linga eot. Biuru neja tichinyasai mind prophet Samuel Kakande Mondolemnu Ubiro Chango Erokamanu. Richard Mogire Aton. I am from Kenya. The reason why I've come here for Kakande Ministries is because of my lower back pain. Here is my medical report from ScanLab Center Nakuru. We're looking at this medical report from ScanLab Center in Nakuru, Kenya, which belongs to Mr. Richard Atoni. They took an MRI of his lumbar spine for he has had this chronic pain in the back. And upon examining him, this is what the doctors found, as indicated here, he was diagnosed with L4, L5 posterior disc bulge, causing anterior the cow sac indentation, causing narrowing of both neuro exit foramina and having contact with the exiting nerve roots bilaterally. This is what is causing him severe pain in this back for a whole 37 years. Dr. B. Bombuna, the consultant radiologist, confirms this. Now he wears a lumbar corset for support, walking is so difficult, bending he cannot. Today, Jesus Christ, the restorer of good health, is meeting him right now in the power of the Holy Spirit. You see how he's being driven from sickness to good health. Has all the chains that bound him to sickness in these 37 years are being broken. Be healed in Jesus' holy name. Father, we thank you. Go, you are free. In Thank Jesus. you, Jesus Christ. Once Jesus says yes, you are free indeed. Thank you, Jesus. That's Mr. Richard. Removing the lumbar corset he has been wearing for support. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. It is healed. done. Glory be to I Jesus. Am I am healed. Hallelujah. I am healed. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to walk now free. Look at him now. He's new. The pain is gone. Thank you, Jesus. of God's power upon Brother Richard Attorney from Kenya completely ended the 37 agonizing years of pain in his back. After prayer by the anointed man of God, Prophet Samo Kakande, he testifies the following morning as you can witness. My name is Richard Mogire Attorney. I am a Kenyan. 
In the year back 1987, when I was getting out, I slipped and I fell down. After that one week, I started feeling pain. I went to the doctor. I informed him how I'm feeling. The doctor prescribed drugs. It did not help me. I continued for a long time. That's seven years from 1986 up to now. I stayed while using painkillers for a long time. In 2017, I visited another hospital here in Nakuru. The doctor prescribed to me and advised me to put a concert. After being advised to wear this, he had advised me also to, to do MRI. I did MRI. They found there is a problem. Here, lumbar spine number four or five. After medical treatment, I did not feel well. One of the, my friend, the doctor, told me, this problem is not curable. Just take painkillers. I, I used that advice. I was watching a TV. We saw the man of God performing here for the first time. I looked for meals of coming here until it, on Wednesday we reached here. On Saturday, the man of God prayed for me here. I don't know what happened. I just found myself down. I just heard him telling me, rise up and go, you are free. So I felt so good. I felt now we healed. Even now, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm, I'm okay. Even this number's corset. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't use it now. I, I don't, I'm not going to use it. I am I'm healed. I don't need it again. Actually, I throw it, uh, it down. So, initially, I used it not to bend well because of pain. When it's standing, it was some, sometimes difficult. When I was learning or standing or walking for a long distance, I was not feeling well all of these years. But now I am okay, I can sit. See, I'm sitting. Initially, I used to, to look for a bearing to sit. Or standing. But now I can sit. I can walk, I can stand, I can run. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ. I can walk very quickly, which, which I have not been doing. I trained as a mechanic, but I stopped because of this. I was not lifting heavy, heavy loads like this one, but now I can lift. I thank Jesus Christ for hearing me. And Prophet Samuel Kakanda for praying for me. I thank you so much. Thank you. I am Akisi from Kenya. <laughs> Let me say something about in my language. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Jesus. Thanks be to Jesus Christ. I will seek you here again. Clap your hands. Thank you, Lord. You restored my health again. Thank you, Lord. I will seek you here again.
Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. My name is Wairimu Susan. I'm from Kenya. I have a severe back pain, which is generating to the right leg. And when I went to Lam Hospital in Kisi, and here is my medical report. This medical report from Ram Hospital in Kenya belongs to Lady Susan Wairimu. Because of this pain in her lower back, they took an x-ray of her lumbar spine and they noted loss of normal lumbar nodosis together with multilevel osteophytes. Hence, she was diagnosed with muscle spasms as well as early lumbar spondylosis. This is what is causing her this pain that she has suffered with for two years. Severe pain in the back, the pain that is radiating down up to the legs. This is a healing moment now. The man of God is praying for her to be healed. Watch! In the mighty name of Jesus, be healed. Your health be restored. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. You are free in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. For rise up and go. Mama, you are free. It's time for Sister Susan to rise up. Her sickness is gone. Taken by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I go. Why? Thank you. Clap, clap, clap for Jesus Christ. The ladies of the world will join. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. To God be the glory. Is it your business? You are here to be restored. Your finances to be restored. By the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ, Sister Susan Wairimu from Kenya received instant healing from the two years of pain in her back. Listen as she testifies to God's glory the following morning. My name is Jadi Wairimu Susan from Kenya. I stand before you and before God to give the testimony of my deliverance. Two years back, I suffered a severe back pain. It was so painful that it was reducing to this leg. I couldn't walk, I couldn't move. I went to different hospitals, receiving different type of medicine, but as I used to take them, all was in pain. The more I took them, the more the pain. I even went to be burned by electricity at Eldoret for 10 days, but the moment I left that place, I was worse than I went. I couldn't even do my business. It was learned by my boy because of the pain. And then suddenly, my daughter reminded me of Kakande ministry. And she told me, we are coming here. And when we came here, actually, I didn't pay anything. It was for free. Instead of paying, in fact, they were giving us lunch. And on Saturday, the man of God, Prophet Kakande, prayed for me. And when he touched my head, I felt calmness, peace, quietness. When I fall on the floor, it was like I wanted to sleep there because it was so peaceful. And then I was asking, why are they waking me up? Why can I continue sleeping? I felt the peace that I've never felt. When I woke up, dear people of God, I felt my body was light, no pain when I wake up. I didn't, I, in fact, it was as I had come from somewhere. I was dipping something and then I came out, somebody else. Now, there before, I couldn't learn, I couldn't sit down, but now I can learn. See, I can learn. I can jump freely, freely. I can kick with this leg freely. Yeah, I, when I was sitting, 
I used to sit like a fat old grandi. I could do like this because of the pain. And when I was waking up, I could do this. But now I can sit, I can start, I can sit, I can start, and I'm so happy. I can even dance. I wish I wear my, my high heels. I could have cut walk because of Jesus. Yeah, and the, back there, I'm a Kenyan, I'm a Kyuk. I can speak in my native language, Kikuyu. I do a guy, I do a Kikuyu. Okay, go, 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 and then honor returned to Jesus Christ. And my gratitude returned to Prophet Samuel Kakande for accepting to be used by God as a vessel of honor to deliver us. Glory to God. Your hands together for Jesus Christ. My name is Agnes Zulu Kaona from South Africa, which brought me here. It's the arthritis and the hypertension. I, I had this disease almost for arthritis. It's five years. Uh, this is my medical report from Dr. Hira Center. We're now looking at this medical report from the medical facility of Dr. P. Hira and Associated Family Medical Practitioners in South Africa. It's a medical report for Lady Agnes Zulu Kaona. Here is where she has been receiving medical treatment for the diagnosis of osteoarthritis and hypertension, as indicated here. These are five years. She has got difficulty in sitting, difficulty in walking and bending and squatting. You see how she's limping because of the pain. encounter with Christ Jesus. See how the power of Jesus Christ is touching her to flash out all this pain of five years. The man Jesus Christ be healed. Be healed. Evil spirit out. Our attention. Bless her whole. Bless up and go your free. It's done. Sister Agnes has been declared free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for this healing for our lady, Lady Agnes. My name is Agnes Kao Nazulu. I'm from South Africa. I'm feeling good. I'm healed in Jesus' name of Nazareth. I was not walking nicely. I can't sit down. I can't walk. I was bending. If I want to stand, my daughter can come and pick me to stand up. I had a pain the whole body. When the prophet was praying for me, I was feeling less and something was coming out. I think I, some, I was touched for something. I don't know what touched me. Now I'm feeling good. Even my feet now is light. My feet was heavy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, rise up and walk. Oh, thank you, Jesus of Nazareth. Thank you. Let me try to stand. I was not standing up. Wow! Hallelujah! <laughs> To God be the glory. If any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 
Sister Agnes Kawana from South Africa was completely healed from the five years of pain. She became a new creature after prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. My name is Kaona Agnes. I'm a Zambian based in South Africa. The thing which brought me here is my arthritis. I had a swollen leg. All my body was paining. I, I was not supposed to heal. I can't, I can't sit down alone. If I sit down, I will look for someone to come and lift me up. I was walking like a magogo, a old woman, very old, old woman. And I was not sleeping. I was sick for the leg for five years ago. In my leg, they were giving me one injection for three months. After three months, they give me injection. So my children said, no, this is too much. Let us take Mama to the Prophet Akakande. That's why I'm here. Before praying for me, my body was like a heavy body, as if I carried something which is very heavy. After praying for me, I fall down. Then I just heard the prophet saying that, stand up, mama, you are healed, stand up. So that time I was like, I was drunk. I failed to wake up. And I was looking for my pillow. Where is my pillow? Where is my pillow? So I just did this with my, my hand. I was feeling that I'm sleeping in a queen bed. <laughs> <laughs> then the prophet said, no, stand up. Why am I? Oh, I'm in at the church. That's why I was standing up and started praising God. <laughs> I was not putting new sh shoes. I was putting flat shoes. But now you can see I'm putting shoes. Hmm? You can see I'm, 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 I can walk freely. I'm free with high shoes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Last time I was just doing like this. When I want to sit down. Now I can just sit freely. Then I can. Next I call, come and help me. Come and help me. Then I can just stand up freely. I can jump. I can do this. <laughs> Thank you, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for me. And I, I give thanks to our God, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, and God of Prophet Kakanda. I give you glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> I'm with my two children. My name is Mariana Kaona, and uh, the lady standing beside me, she's my mother-in-law, Agnes. She never used to like uh, sit on her own. She would like someone to help her for her support. And then um, visiting different doctors. The last uh, attempt that we went to Dr. Hira, it was uh, another ma massive uh, sickness that she had. And then that's how we decided, no, enough is enough. We have to go and seek salvation somewhere else. So that's how we came here. Good morning, church. My name is James Heiskauna. I'm from South Africa, but initially I'm from Zambia. Uh, the problem that brought us here is my mother's sickness. She's been sick for quite a long time. Since my father passed on, I think she never coped with that. And uh, since then, she's been having problem after problem, problem after problem. Believe me, church, it's not easy to see your own mother suffer in such a way. It's not easy, church. Believe me, we've gone through a lot with this sickness. Uh, just for a mere cock, for a mere cold drink, you call it soda, cold drink. She can't drink any other cold drink but cock. Once you give a, a, another cold drink, the, the sickness just starts. We have, we, are, we, we have to rush her to the hospital. If, even tea, initially where we're coming from, she, she's got a special tea. The special tea. She only drinks one type of tea, because if she, she drinks another one, everything becomes something else. 
Um, so we decided, no, enough is enough with my wife. We said, no, 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 no. Let's, uh, let us surprise her. Then my, my, my surprise was uh, after she was prayed for, uh, when we're going home, normally my wife and my mother would be holding each other, dragging each other, dragging each other. But that day she was in front. And it was a little bit late. I was like, Mama, where are you rushing? To? No, allow me to enjoy my freedom. I said, <laughs> And then I kept quiet. We reached the um, uh, hotel. When we got there, we are on a third level. So normally, we would get a security guard, or my wife would be holding her to, cl uh, to climb the stairs. But that day, my wife tried, then she was, no daughter, leave me. Then we all stood in shock, you understand? Then we saw her climbing the stairs, first stairs, first floor, she was there. Second floor, she was there. Third floor, she was there. The reception was like, Mama, who brought you here? I said, no, I, I, I climbed the stairs by myself. We, then we, we climbed as well. The reception was like, how did Mama get here? I said, no, she's, she's right. You can see for yourself. She, she's been healed. We are from the church. Uh, so church, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to Jesus for healing my mother. And thank you so much, Prophet uh, Samuel Kakande, for praying for my mother. You've done so, so much. You, it's, what you've done, it's unexplainable. It's unexplainable. I'm so grateful to this church. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, the only thing that I can say is uh, thank you, Jesus, for healing my mother. And uh, thank you, Prophet Kakande, for your blessing that you've given us. Thank you. Wow. So now I can talk my language, eh? I'll talk in Zambian. Uh, Nikupasani mo ni monse ma Zambia ni kwa mene muri ngati muri muno muri ku Zambia kuri konsi kwa mene muri eh tima enda ku church but sticho sa zironda zatu the scars are still on our body ma zironda zatu zima nkala pa mtupi but ambuye eswa natu ma mprofeti akakande ku Uganda Kwa mene sinari kuyembeke zara kuti angatichirise, angatichirise mtuari yense, angatichuri na chikuru piri hilo. So, nipe mpa imwe monsa mene mudwala, imwe mudi na maplobre mwyo siyana siyana. Munga buwele kuno ku Uganda, munga sewe nzese mabasezi kuri na mandeke, munga sewe nzese. Kuti ambuya nga kuchirise ni through profeti, Samwe wakakande. Ndera ndakuri imwe mwewa, mwewa ambuya, ababe mba. Mwilai karafiati yo ukulu, yo musana, yo inshi. Tuwalikuwa taba ashima pepo, haba pepa, ama profeta. Filafi netuwa kwete, ya vena Isaac, ya vena Dani, ya vena nani, ama profeta tuwa kwete. Na ifno mbale sari tupera ama profeta. Iseni kuno, mwise mulombi ama pepo. Ami poche. Tulaya kuma cheche ze. Kale tuwa ya mba tuwa kurira mma cheche yesu. But tuwa likuwa te ifina nikana ifibash. Ifishi fuma. Tuwa usenda chichinsu nduwe chikala mba sana pa mtuwe pesu. Tuwa likuwa ta... Tuwa li... We are cursed. So chari wa mati tuwa isa yako kuli profeti atu pepe lako tuwa fumi yako fili efisendo fituwa kwa hata. Na lomba fionse fiku pitu la muliba yawe. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us give thanks to Jesus Christ. Thanks be to Jesus Christ, the miracle worker.
My name is Evelyn Amos. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. The problem that brought me here is severe lower back pain for about six years. And this is my medical report from Nairobi Hospital. We're looking at this medical report from the Nairobi Hospital that belongs to Lady Evelyn Amos. Here is where she went with this pain in her lower back and the doctors examined her. They took an MRI of her lumbar spine where they noted that first of all she has lost the lumbar lordosis and also they found other abnormalities here, osteophytes among others, together with diffuse annulus fibrous bulges at L4, L5, L5, S1. So she was diagnosed with lumbar hyperlidosis due to lumbosacral muscle spasms together with degenerative lumbar spondylosis. There are more findings here. She was diagnosed again with diffuse annulus fibrous bulge at L4, L5 with narrowing of the right neuroforamen and also diffuse annulus fibrous bulge at L5, S1. So this is what is causing her this pain in the back that she has suffered with for six years, being confirmed by Dr. Achan Mulal, the radiologist. Today, Sister Evelyn has come to the Lord Jesus Christ to take away this pain. Be healed in Jesus. It is time for her restoration now. Your health will be restored in Jesus. Madam, you are free. Lady Evelyn, her life will never be the same again. She has risen up. Hallelujah. Clap, clap those hands for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How is it? It feels good. It feels good. I'm not feeling pain on my knees. I'm not feeling pain on my ankles. When I was sitting here, I, I had to keep stretching my back because it was hot because of that pain. Now I'm feeling I'm okay. Hallelujah. I'm feeling I'm okay. <sighs> this is for real. Because it took you time to come here. But that healing I see, is it for real? When I go there, what will happen? <laughs> will I be healed? <laughs> Is it not uh, these games? Ah, I see some. Um, but I know I'm very wise. They cannot manipulate me. <laughs> me? They don't know me. They don't know me. They don't know even the status I'm holding. I'm not tell them, but. Uh, they cannot manipulate me. No, mom, don't go. They must do this. Please, wait, let me go. Whatever I find out, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, my of God. Now when tell I... them what you have found out. No, there's no manipulation. It's true that I've been having doubts because there's so many stories and so many different places you hear stories and things like that. So I was quite hesitant coming here. But this time around, I just said, you know what? I'm, I'm just going. Whatever happens, happens. I'm just feeling I'm, I'm free. There's no pain. When the man of God prayed for me, I can't say like there was anything that really went through my body or anything like that. I just felt refreshed. I just felt refreshed and that's it. To my fellow Kenyans, what I can tell you is that the presence of God in this place and Jesus Christ is real in this place. So if you're looking for a place to have an encounter with the Lord, a place for healing, a place for breakthrough, please come and join us here at Kakanda Ministries in Kampala, Uganda. Jesus is real on this altar. Because there are so many things going on in the whole world today. And somebody asks himself a question, what should I believe? What is the truth? Is this a reality? Is this manipulated? Is this, uh... I have faith that Jesus is alive. But what is going on? I don't know. So many people have lost faith. They have a setback. What is it that I should believe? So unless you get the real experience, 
you cannot say this or that. Yes, what is going on in the whole world? Is God have mercy. God, but really, Christ Jesus is for real. He has power. He is staying in us in the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a force of which God is behind. So for your ability, whether in your business, in your life, you need that Holy Spirit, the force of God, the presence of God, the force of God to be in you. Go, you are free. another beneficiary of God's healing power after prayer by the anointed man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Her pain of six years was taken away by the Lord Jesus Christ and her health was restored as she gladly testifies. My name is Evelyn Shilibo Amos. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I count it a great privilege given to me by God and his servant to share my testimony with you today. So the challenge that brought me here was I had this severe lower back pain, and it's been there for a number of years, possibly more than six years, but it became severe around 2018. So at first I thought maybe I'm not healthy enough or I'm not fit enough. So I started going to the gym because I thought that would help to relieve the pain, but it never got any better. Instead, it got worse. I've been going for physiotherapy sessions, for hydrotherapy, it was not working. And I used to be given pain medication most of the time, different types of medication. As you can see, I have some of the medication. Some of it is prescription medication. Like this is uh, to relieve pain. And because I'm taking this, sometimes it causes acidity, so I have to take this to counter that. There are others that are not here. I was not able to carry all of them. I use this to apply because my knees and my ankles would swell so much and also be painful. So I used to use this so that it can, uh, I can rub it and then it relieves the pain. And then I also had some self-prescribed medication, like this two here, they're herbal, which I actually just prescribed by myself. I had been told they'll relieve the pain. So all this time I've been using a lot of medication just to help me relieve the pain. But the pain would not go away. The last job that I had, I was working as a call center agent. And this required sitting down for about nine to 10 hours on a daily basis. Now, because of sitting down for long, this pain kept on increasing and I, I would switch between hospitals because I'll go to one hospital and I'll be given medication for maybe one month. But because of the pain, I used to take sometimes double or triple the dose just to manage the pain. And then the next time I'll go to a different hospital, like that, like that. So um, I also used to hate traveling long distances, especially if I'm traveling by road. I hated it because at the end of the journey, the pain will be so severe. I just need to survive on medication. I got to know about the Kakande Ministries in around 2018. I've heard some of my friends come here and when they go away, they have testimonies to share. I know several of them who, they came here. There's one I know who was anemic. And when she got back, I think it was around 2020, she was healed from anemia and she also got a job abroad and she's been working there 
for a number of years before the man of God came in to pray for us. As we were seated, I was wiggling on the chair because of the pain and my back was feeling like it's on fire. I wanted to just go where my bag was so that I can get the medication so that the pain can stop. And when the man of God came in, the first thing I felt, I had some sensation on my legs. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe like a light, uh, shall I, it's not like you're being electrocuted, but that kind of sensation, like there's something, a current flowing into my legs. And when he prayed for me and I fell down, I just remember I felt refreshed. I felt like something just washed over me. When I got up, to be honest, I didn't expect like the pain will not be there. But when I got up, that pain had gone. If you watch the video, you can see I was trying to you know, bend my knees because the pain was too much. I could not bend my knees. The pain would be around my knees, my ankles, my lower back. So that Saturday, I didn't feel that pain anymore. I said the test of time will come tomorrow morning because that pain usually begins in the morning. So on Sunday, I woke up. Several times in the night I woke up, there was no pain. Yesterday, I woke up, there was no pain. I came for the service, I sat throughout the service. No pain. Ah, I slept last night. I woke up, no pain. Yeah, so for example, I hated wearing high heels. But as you can see today, I'm rocking these heels. I can walk very comfortably. You like the catwalk? Yeah, it's the doing of the Lord. I can run in the hills. Sitting sometimes, if I had not taken any medication, would be a big problem. But right now, I can sit and I can get up. I'm so amazed at the doing of the Lord because it's, it's not like, I'm, I'm reminded of the story of um, Naaman when he went to the prophet and the prophet told him, go and dip yourself seven times in River Jordan. And you know, he was like, I thought the prophet will come out and maybe he will wave a wand over me, or do something, jump over my body. So maybe that, has, that was my expectation when the man of God was going to pray for us. Maybe I expected something more than him, you know, because I just lay down and then he said, you're free. You know, and it was just as simple as that. I did not pay any money. He did not jump over me. You've seen the video. He did not... It was just simple like that, just by the word of God, and I was delivered. And to give God all the glory and all the honor for healing me. And I also appreciate the man of God for allowing himself to be used by God to bring us healing and deliverance. It's, it's, I don't take it for granted. I give God all the glory. <laughs> what I can say is that in the Lord, there's no drum, if I may put it that way. It's very simple. It's just a matter of believing. You just believe and you receive. And I can say that's all you need to do. And anyone who goes to a place where you're told to pay before you can get your miracle, please run away from there and just come here and receive your healing from the man of God. I just want to glorify the Lord in the words of this song by our sister Kathy Praise. You call mungu minguni, asiki aye maombi yetu. You call mungu minguni, ajibu ye maombi yetu. Tunapomba, anasikia, na anajibu. The song says there's a God in heaven who hears our prayer. There's a God in heaven who answers our prayer. You who hear from 
heaven and you who answers by fire, you're a faithful God. Na kwa kowewe unayenitazama ningekushauri kama labda uko na shida uko na ugonjwa fulani umekuwa ukienda hospitali umeenda hapa na pale na haujasaidika mimi ningekuhimiza kama unaweza na ninajua inawezekana chukua tu imani njoo hapa Kampala kwa The Kakande Ministries hapa mtumishi wa Mungu hatakuambia utoe shilingi hata moja hautalipa kwa sababu miujiza ambayo inatoka kwa Mungu sio ya kununuliwa hauwezi kununua muujiza bali neno la Mungu linatuambia katika Psalms 107 verse 20 he sent his word and he delivered them kwa hivyo utaka, mtumishi wa Mungu anapokuombea ni hilo neno ambalo linakuletea uponyaji na deliverance. Na kwa hayo machache ningependa kusema Mungu awabariki sana and I return all the praise, all the glory and honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I also want to thank the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande for allowing the Lord to use you. I appreciate you and God bless you. Jane had to give thanks to the hero Jesus Christ. This is Mr. Justice from Kenya. He can't rise up or walk without support of this crutch. He got a dislocation of the hip. Now prayer is going on for him to be healed. Go, Look, go, brethren, go, 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 see what go. Jesus has done. Not using the crutch anymore. He's walking. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. By the stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ, Brother Justice Kip Coril from Kenya was set free from the pain he suffered as a result of dislocation of his hip joint. His ability to walk was restored as he triumphantly testifies before the Lord the following morning. listen to this wonderful testimony and give God glory. My name is Ajasas Kipkoreri Bet. I come from Kenya, Nakuru County. Last year, October 20th, I caught uh, an accident and I had to be taken to Kerijo District Hospital whereby I had a hip joint dislocation. It was uh, done what we call hip contraction, and I was given medication. I stayed here for one and a half months. I get out, and still the pains were there. I used the highest uh, antibiotics, Catil, Omega-1, Dalacin, and others. Still the pain was very, very high. I have a medical report. Here, I was admitted on 21st of October at the hospital, at Kerijo District Hospital. 
We are looking at this medical report from Kericho District Hospital in Kenya. It's a discharge summary for Mr. Justice Kip Korelbet. This is where he was admitted and attended to by two doctors, Dr. Rono and Dr. Maoga, concerning this issue because he was diagnosed with hip dislocation following the accident that he has told us about. And here, they did skin traction and he was unable to use the limb. So doctors attended to him like this and later on he was discharged, but still in so much pain. I've suffered for six months. I get this scratch, they were, on, they were two, but the doctors advised me to leave one, and I had to use uh, this one only. Uh, then I've been using it, because moving without it was a problem. So I saw in my GTV, uh, Kaganda Ministries, uh, to ask myself, why should I go there and be released as others are being released here. So Friday I came here and Saturday I had a privilege to be put on prayer line and I was prayed for by the prophet of God, Samuel Kagande. And uh, I only had it telling me just move, go. And I go and I, the pain has already gone and I had nothing else. So even now I can work properly I can work this site. I can work. I can even jump. I can squat in a proper way. If there is no more pain. I feel good and I thank the Lord for healing me and Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. Thank you, Lord. I don't see any use of this grudge again. I have to leave it here. I can work again. Clap, Running. clap for Jesus. Now I can sit. I can rise again without any problem. <laughs> to my people in Kericho, I would like to advise them to come and have the face of God here because treatment, you can do it, yes, but all in all, what's above all is God because God should intervene in whatever you're doing because if we do things without God, we cannot make. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, Prophet Samuel Kaganda, for praying for me. Let us join him to give God glory. together for Jesus Christ. Lady Maporisa from Botswana receiving healing. She has come with pain in the back radiating up to the leg for seven years. Jesus Christ who loves her so much. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. This is Kakanti Ministry. Thank you Jesus. Oh, Jesus. She's here. The Lord Jesus Christ touched the life of Sister Wanano Maporisa from Botswana in a miraculous way to put an end to the seven years of pain in her back. Listen to her giving glory to God as she testifies the following morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. 
my name is Suanano Maporisa from Botswana. This man is my husband. I come here because of big pay. On 2017, when I wake up morning, I find that I have got a big pain back. I started that day not moving nicely, not sleeping nicely, not sit down nicely, but the pain continues going on, on every day. And then I went to the hospital. After that, the doctor said, you must go to do MRI. I went there, they do MRI. It comes to say that my back is not good and my right leg. Then they were injecting me every day, once a month. I was going to take injection. I continue. After that, they give me injection. The injection doesn't work. Then I go to physiotherapy. They were also doing massage to me. Nothing was doing on. I keep on going, going, going. Seven years suffering of this disease. This is my medical report from Dr. David Muhembelo in Francis Town. We are looking at this medical report from Riverside Hospital under the care of Dr. Muhembelo Healthcare Limited. It's a medical report for Lady Wanano Maporisa. This is where she went with this complaint of pain in her back with radiculopathy with worsening foot drop and now they decided to take an MRI of her thoracolumbar spine where they found several abnormalities in her lumbar spine. First of all, they noted that the cervical and lumbar lordosis is reduced. And then they noted that she has got disc osteophyte complexes at C3 stroke C4, C4 stroke C5, C5 stroke C6 that cause severe stenosis of the calcic with cord compression. They noted again more disc osteophyte complexes at various levels. This indenting anterior the calcic with subtral ventral spinal cord indentation at T9 stroke 10 level. They noted more lumbar spine anterior and lateral osteophytes at L1 to L5. They noted disc desiccations at various levels at L1, L2, L2, L3, L3, L4. Even L4, L5, they noted there was disc desiccation together with end plate modic 2 changes with diffuse disc bulging with ligamentum flavor and bifacetal hypertrophy causing moderate stenosis of the calcic, severe stenosis of the right neuroforamina and moderate stenosis of the left neuroforamina. Traversing and exiting nerves were impinged. So because the nerves were affected, that is why she had so much pain in the back and all this was done under the care of Dr. David Membello. On April, when I was in my phone, I saw the Kakandi ministry. Then I love it. I start to look at it every day. I was watching that ministry. When my husband is back from work, I said, hey, I have seen something in YouTube. He saw it also. Ah, she loved it. We were looking at it day and night. Then we discussed, let us go there. We managed to come together on Friday. <laughs> on Saturday morning, we come to the ministry. We saw men of God. They put us in the prayer line. When I was there in the prayer line, men of God prayed for me. I fall on the chair. The next time I hear my said, said, oh, thank you, Jesus. Now I am going to show you the things that I was not doing. Now I can walk fast. I can walk now. I can walk. I can walk. And I can wear shoes. I was always wearing slippers only. But now I can wear shoes. I can bend. Yeah. I can sit. That time I was sitting like this. That time I was sitting holding the chair. And then standing, I will stand like this. But now, 
I sit like this. And I stand like this. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, senior prophet Samuel Kakanji. He prayed for me and God healed me. In Jesus' name, I pray. I will give my neighbor. I'm Noama Parisa from Botswana. Uh, this is my lovely wife beside me here. As you have heard talking to this church, he had a back pain, he had a right leg with a pain. We have been going to various hospitals in Botswana, uh, but there was no any dreadful one of those hospitals. And on April this year, we decided to come here. As she, she was unable to walk properly, to sit down properly. And my challenges in this issue was that I was, when we were going to town to the clinic, I was the one who was lifting her, helping her, putting her back in the taxi, going back to home until we arrived on Friday here in Uganda. Now my wife is working well, sitting well, and I'm very happy today. I'm very happy today. And I thank God, very well I thank God to heal my wife. Also, also Samuel Kagandi, who prayed for my lovely wife. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now I am talking to Anna, but I am not to Anna, I am Kalangian. Okay, but I will talk to Anna because in our country we talk to Anna. Dunelam bom melibon tati. Baba lunko buzwana. Kia le rutue tsagori. Liska la na he la lutwa di puo di kan zabatu. Tain li ponele li li tele polo ya luna. Kwa no mo Uganda, kwa ha Dr. Samuel Kakandi. Kwa ni mo la iso wa mi koko boone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let us bless the name of the healer, Jesus Christ. Ndi nyali omuwanya Yesu Christo, tuliwa mukisa. Thank you, Lord. 